Grok 3. Is it the smartest AI on Earth? According to Elon Musk, it is. But today we're going to be testing it out for building games, landing pages, websites, really putting it to its limits and seeing what it can do and how powerful it is. So let's kick it off. It's available at grok.com or you can go to x as well and if you go to x.com you can get it inside the grok section over here so let's test it out now what we're going to do is we're going to select think mode and i'm going to say create a simple flappy bird clone using html css and javascript the game should feature a flying bird controlled by the spacebar obstacles moving right to left collision detection and a scoring system use the canvas element for rendering the game should restart on collision all right Let's see what we've got now. Now, one of the new things about Grok 3 is that it's featuring this new reasoning model that it never had before. And if we actually compare this to some of the best AI models in the world, you can see that Grok 3 is actually outperforming O3 Mini, O1, DeepSeek R1, and Gemini to flash thinking by a long way. So you can see the blue is Grok, and then the rest of the models are trailing behind by quite a long way when it comes to math, science, coding, for this reason in the test time compute power. Now, when you're coding out a game, like you can see right here, basically what you're gonna get the thoughts plus how long it took, right? Which is quite useful because then you get an idea for, okay, how long does this prompt take? And you can also code multiple projects at the same time. So we can open up multiple tabs of grok.com and then create separate coding projects or different projects with AI in different tabs. So we've got the HTML back from Grok now, let's test it out. And just being fully transparent with you, it does take a little bit of back and forth. We've got the HTML here, and then if we scroll down, we've got the JavaScript here. You can preview this sort of stuff at live.com if you want to. So for example, here you would put the HTML, and here you would put the JavaScript. And if you have any CSS extra, you can insert it right here. So if we open up the game now and test it out, you can already see the pipes and everything working. Here we go. And you can see that's working really well now. So we have the flappy bird. I can press spacebar to jump over the hoops. Pretty simple and easy to create that. You can see how easy it is to build games, for example. And I have no coding experience, but I can build those out pretty quickly. You don't seem to be able to, for example, preview the code inside the chat, but you can easily go to liveweave.com and check it out. So next up, what we're going to do is try cloning a website. So I'm going to take a screenshot of my website, like you can see right here. And I'm going to say clone this website plus here's the HTML code to embed images, video testimonials, etc. All right, think mode is definitely the best for coding. If you want to get the best outputs, use the thinking mode. Don't use a normal one. The normal one is great for just quick answers, right? And it is really fast. So if you're, for example, like creating content, you're not going to use a reasoning model. But if you're coding, if you're building out games, websites, if you're cloning websites, then you're better off using the reasoning model. So now we've got the code back, like you can see. So let's copy the HTML there. We'll plug that in over here. We've got the CSS, more HTML to insert underneath. And we've got the HTML now back from Grok. Obviously we would insert our own images, but you can see we've got the website ready to go, copied from the original. So that's the original, that's the clone, and it did it in a few clicks. Now what I've asked it to do is create an SEO optimized article, like you can see. If you want this prompt, it's inside the AI Profit boardroom, link in the comments the description, along with all the prompts from today. This creates like personalized, really nice for humanized written content, like you can see. So the content itself reads really nice. Like I think Grok is very good for writing. I would say it's on par with Claw 3.5 Sonnet, honestly. But here's the other thing, right? This feels very humanized. So if we check it on, for example, like Zero GPT, which is an AI detection tool, we'll grab the content, we'll plug it in Zero GPT, and that comes out 0% AI detectable, right? And so the content straight out the box from Grok directly, not only reads really nicely, not only creates SEO optimized articles using that prompt we just gave it, but also that content itself is human written. Now the benefit of this as well, is when you're creating this content, it's all personalized to you. It says, hey, I'm Julian Goldie, SEO entrepreneur, built a seven figure link building agency, team 50 people, blah, blah, blah. And the content itself is not just really nicely written and humanized, but it passes AI detection and it does exactly what we need. Plus, so we check the article, it seems pretty long. Let's check this out. So that is total 1,000 words straight out of the box. Completely human written. That's pretty amazing. I've never really seen that from uh, a tool directly, honestly. And we just got it straight out of Grok. So it's pretty awesome for content creation. I'm sure it'd be awesome for tweets as well. And if we actually check the links, it's linked to the SEO Elite Circle and our free SEO strategy session. Feel free to get that, by the way. Link in the comments description. And 
It's funneling traffic from the article directly to our landing pages, which is exactly what we want. So just in the space of a few minutes, we've built out a Flappy Bird game, we've cloned a website, we've written humanized content that bypasses AI detectors and is honestly better than most SEO tools that I've seen out there. What else? So what we can also do is we can, for example, create landing pages from scratch, so websites from scratch. And in the meantime, whilst we're waiting for that to load, we can also open up a new conversation. So we'll start a new chat here. And then we're going to select deep search. And we're going to say, okay, research everything about Grok 3, but make sure it's all surprising, mind-blowing stuff. All right, we don't want the boring stuff in that deep search. And so what Grok can do, number one is code and research at the same time in two different tabs. And then also, this is like Grok's answer to ChatGPT's deep research. So inside ChatGPT, you have the deep research option there. It's pretty good, but it takes about 30 minutes to load. And also you have to pay about $200 per month for that. If you use Grok, this comes included in the original package, which I think is like $16 a month with X if you get the premium account. And the responses are much faster. You don't have to wait around for 30 minutes to get the results, right? It's already come straight through. Now, these research reports are shorter, right? So ChatGPT usually comes back with 10,000 words. This is coming back with about a thousand words, but I don't mind that. I don't want a super long report. And so let's have a look how interesting it is. It's like Grok3 is trained on synthetic data. It was trained using the Colossus supercomputer, which boasts an impressive 200,000 GPUs. And here under the creative potential bit, it says one of the most surprising aspects is Grok3's ability to create new content, such as games. In a live demo, it combined elements of Tetris and another game to create a new game on the spot. Now, another thing that hasn't really been talked about much is that Super Grok is coming. Now, Super Grok, it gives you access to Grok 3, but you also get higher generation limits and you get voice mode. That's coming pretty soon. I think it's like, I think I heard dates around like February the 25th, and it's going to be about $300 per year for Super Grok. So that's going to be a huge leap in itself. And you can see this also surfs the web. So this is like a replacement for Google as well, because you don't have to use Google anymore. So it can code, it can search the web, it can do research reports, it can create content, it can clone websites. The other thing that we haven't really talked about here is creating images. So if we say, okay, create an image of a polar bear roller skating, Grok can handle that fairly quickly. And this image generation is some of the best I've seen on the web. Now, if we try and do the same thing inside ChatGPT, this will be using its DALI 3 feature. And we'll pull these up side by side so you can compare the results. So you've already got the images back from Grok, like you can see right here. And these look ultra realistic, right? If you look just a lot more realistic versus the responses you get back from DALI 3. DALI 3 creates more cartoonish images. They're not that impressive. They're not that realistic or interesting. Whereas these sort of images you could use inside a blog and actually be passable. Additionally, if we went on to Grok and we said, okay, picture of Elon Musk and his army of AI robots, We'll plug that in and then we'll plug the same thing into ChatGPT. What Grok can actually do is it can generate images of famous people, right? Or even like Mario and stuff like that. Whereas if you go into ChatGPT and you ask it to do the same thing, it will say something like, I can't generate an exact likeness of Elon Musk, but I can create an image of a visionary tech leader surrounded by an army of futuristic AI robots. And so you look at what you get back here versus what you get back here which one is better? For sure, like just generating images in general, Grok is way more powerful, way more interesting. And ChatGPT just doesn't really compare. So just to summarize here, we've talked about deep research and how you can create research reports, search the web, code, clone websites, generate images, create games, and upload images and then get it to analyze that. What you can also do, for example, if we go back to that previous chat, once you've done that, you can actually click on share and you could share this link with other people on the web. Right? So you can share what you generate. Now, not only that, if you actually go on their website that was just launched yesterday, right? And we check out their traffic, these pages are getting indexed on Google, right? So for example, if you type in site colon grok.com, this content is actually being indexed on Google and will actually probably start ranking for keywords as well. So even though this tool only launched yesterday, you can see a bunch of pages being indexed and ranked by Google and you can share your outputs on Twitter as well. Now inside Grok, you can also code your own tools, right? So let's say, for example, you want to build a calculator or a tool or even an AI tool inside Grok. We can select think mode here 
And then we can plug in a prompt like you can see. Again, you'll get access to all the prompts from today inside the AI Profit Boardroom. And I'm going to plug that into the classroom and then the SAP section. So add a new page here, three example prompts. There's tons of SAPs in here for AI agents, Grok3, ChatGPT faceless videos, etc. And also all of my best courses, like you can see, along with weekly calls with me, plus an awesome community of people interested in AI, if you want. So you can ask me or anyone else inside the community for help. If you don't want to wait around for Grok3, you can actually get it inside the arena of lmarena.ai. So if you go to direct chat over here, and then you can see here, you've got the early access to Grok. So if you type in Grok, you can get Grok2 Mini in the early version of Grok3. Now, this is not the reasoning model from my previous tests, but you do get access to some form of Grok, which is actually topping the leaderboards right now inside the LM arena. So you can see this is a rank of all the latest AI models, including Gemini 2.0, ChatGPT4, DeepSeek R1, etc. 01, 01 Preview. And you can see Grok and the free version that you can get access to inside LM arena is ranking at the top plus it's the first AI model to top 100 as an arena score so it's performing really well so now we've got the html back from grok for our seo cost calculator let's test this out we'll plug it in here it's got the pop-up as we requested we'll close that it's created the page i'm sure that is linking to our funnel as well let's create the navigation at the top two and let's test this out and we have the seo cost calculator tool working perfectly down there plus it's got an explanation of how to use it and a CTA to book in a call, along with our social media links at the bottom. And we just coded that with a very simple prompt. So it is really awesome. Honestly, with the amount of things you can do and the price you're paying, it's like $16 a month. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Plus, I'm sure they're going to release a free tier pretty soon for new users when it comes out of beta. And if you want to get all the prompts and SAPs from today, feel free to get that link in the comments description to the AI Profit Boardroom. Along with that, you'll get all my best SAPs, courses, tutorials, and videos and we're updating this course like pretty much every single day just from this week here's some of the cool stuff we actually did so we added deep seek ai agents workflow a bunch of custom gpts a chat gpt faceless method new prompt and script video automation and a live and also a method where you can take live web pages and then turn them into video transcripts pretty crazy stuff and that's just from this week we're only on wednesday so feel free to get that link in the comments description it also comes with coaching calls with me and and just an awesome community of people interested in growing their businesses, saving hundreds of hours and making more money with AI. Along with that, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that. Link in the comments and description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan. Discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly get our ranking competitors to link building based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye.